Here lies Halloween. This is Jaden's Videos, your host of Halloween, and as you can tell, I do have a new channel intro slogan. I'm not sure if that one's going to stick or not. You guys let me know what you think of that one in the comments below. For this video, it's here. I'm laying it out there. Let me know if there's modifications I can make to it or if it's going to stick. The reason I changed it is because as the channel continues to grow and evolve, I wanted to change away from Werewolf Army because it's something I made when I was 11. I wanted to get a better new one that's more appealing and just sounds overall better because I've never been a huge fan of Werewolf Army. I just stuck. But um, let me know what you guys think of the new one in the comments below. Of course, it's just an intro slogan. It doesn't mean much. Nothing's going to change about the channel just because I changed the intro slogan. You're still going to get great. Halloween videos, but just with a better slogan to accommodate them. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you like it, should I change it? Should I tweak it a little bit? Let me know. But that is not what this video is about. This video is about some new for 2023 Costco Halloween animatronics that were, I don't know if they were leaked or officially released today. Like I said before, it's really hard to tell what's leaked and released at this point because there's just things coming out constantly. But there's some new things at Costco, and usually I don't talk about Costco stuff because I don't even think I have a Costco membership the last I know, the last I knew. So I'd never go to Costco, but there's some really cool things that Costco's having this year that I want to talk about. First off, I do want to mention there's a fiddle or banjo playing skeleton thing. We get stuff like that all the time. Nothing major, nothing too crazy. Another thing is there's a clown, which is actually, I'm not going to lie, people don't like this one. I think it's kind of going a cool direction, the kooky, comical type clown look. It's cool, it's different, it doesn't look like your generic Hugs the Clown type of clown, which if you don't know, I'm not a fan of like the Hugs monster clown type of vibe. I like more subtle, creepy clowns, but I also like these over the top types of clowns when necessary. I feel like this is a cool vibe they're going for with this one but it doesn't look great. Like, it, the quality and everything just doesn't look great on it. It wasn't pulled off properly, in my opinion. But, two that we have videos on that I'm actually going to talk about more in depth, because there's no video on the clown yet. Two that we actually have videos on that I'm gonna talk about more in depth, and I actually really like these two. There is a punk rock skeleton, and there's a mummy. We're gonna talk about the mummy in a second, but first, I wanna talk about the punk rock skeleton. Now, just so you know, I do not know the prices for these. I'm sure there's people who do mention the prices for these somewhere. I just wanna talk about my opinion. I don't know the prices off the top of my head, but we're just gonna talk about how I feel about them. The punk rock skeleton is actually really unique. It's not something I would get because for my purposes, I mostly get animatronics for Hans. Yes, I also use some for displays and decoration purposes, but mostly I like to get animatronics for my haunt. This is something that obviously doesn't work in a haunt, but it's great for a Halloween party. It's great for a Halloween display, decoration purposes. I've never been a big fan of the skeletons playing guitars and stuff, but that's because they all the ones we've gotten are like three foot tall, stupid looking things. But this guy is really cool. Um, I really like him. The movement of his hand on the guitar is very fluent and realistic. He's got great audio. I actually really like his audio. Of course, it's not scary, but it's fun Halloween, nice for a party, nice for a display. And he's got some, they've actually written some pretty cool music for him that's not just generic. I mean, it's kind of basic, but it's actually got some cool Halloween-y lyrics, which I like. I think he's pretty cool. And also, I do like me some, uh, uh, rock is my favorite music genre, but I also really do like punk rock when it comes to, like, The Misfits is one of my favorite bands. And this guy reminds me of that. Of course, he's very different from The Misfits. He's more, you know, kooky, spooky. But... Um, he's, he's got that vibe and I like him. His vest looks cool. Everything about him, the stance he's in, really unique animatronic idea. We've never seen something like this at a full six foot scale. Like I said, the only things we've seen reminiscent of this are like three foot things. This guy's cool. I like him. The other thing we are going to talk about, which is the one that everyone's talking about, and I actually originally thought I'm just going to make a video just on this thing, but I wanted to touch on the other things too, but this is the, I think it's called the Tomb Guardian Mummy. I am so happy. Thank you, Costco. Thank you, SVI. Thank you so much for giving us a mummy. How many years has it been 
since we've gotten a life-size mummy. I'm not counting the 12 foot mummy. I'm not counting like the 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 CVS looking ones that were at Home Depot like in 2015. I'm talking about a solid mummy animatronic. How many years has it been? Not since like 2008. It's crazy. I don't know why we never get mummies. They are one of the quintessential Halloween monsters. We finally got one and it's really cool. The one thing I don't like about it, I do not like the arm movement. I don't know why, I just don't, it feels off to me. But I just wanted to get that out of the way, I do not like the arm movement. But everything else about this guy is awesome. He looks big, he looks scary, he's got a great appearance with the bandages and everything, his face is great. And one of the coolest things, he moves his eyes from side to side, and it's not LCD eyes, I thought they were LCD originally. I don't know if they're doing away with LCD eyes, well they're obviously not because the Carney Barker has LCD eyes. But for the most part, it seems like a lot of animatronics now, like the robot at Home Depot, they're having actual moving eyes and they aren't just LCD. They actually have mechanical eyes that move and I think that's even cooler. This guy's eyes move from side to side and he blinks his eyes. How awesome is that? I wanna see that technology in more animatronics and I'm assuming there is going to be more of them this year considering the robot's going to do that and this mummy does that. This mummy is just so cool. Mummies have always been in my top 10 favorite monsters. I never could understand why we never see them, so I'm so happy we finally have a mummy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this guy. I don't really know because I'm really gonna base it off of what other places have. It's very hard to say this early on what I'm gonna get and stuff, but I mostly wanna get things that are for my haunt this year, which I have not announced the theme yet, but I will say, and I'm confident in saying it's not mummies, I know what the theme is. I don't wanna say what it is or give any hints to what it is really besides teasers, so I don't really wanna say it outright, but I'm fine with telling you guys it's definitely not mummies. So, yeah, he's not one that's at the top of my list to get, but I really do like him and I'd like to own him. What a great animatronic. Give us more mummies. This guy's awesome. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about him is the arm movement's kinda weird. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know, again, what you think of the new intro slogan. I could tweak it, I could change it around, depends. It, like I said, it's not really a big deal. It's just something I say at the beginning of videos now, but whatever, let me know what you guys think of it. And also, more importantly, let me know what you guys think of these Costco Halloween 2023 animatronics in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed. What am I gonna say for the end of these? I didn't even think about that. Here lies Halloween. Let's recycle it. Maybe I'll tweak the beginning. Whatever. Here lies Halloween.